Primary care, I think, is the future of medicine in the United States. I think it's the core of what the healthcare system should be about. The evidence is overwhelming that most people should get their care in primary care facilities. There's nothing like a place like this. It's come from the heart. There has to be a big shift in the way people look at what good health care is. We need to stretch out the visit beyond just when they come to see the doctor. The whole system operates more efficiently at less cost. The only way we'll create a rational system is by putting primary care at the heart of that system. Today, I can announce that under the recovery plan we put into action, $155 million will go towards supporting 126 new health centers across America. These health centers will expand access to care by helping people in need obtain access to comprehensive primary and preventive health care services. What we're trying to do is to shift more resources into primary and preventive care. This is a historic time in health care in New York because Governor Patterson has had this vision of getting a high-performing health system by moving more resources into primary care. Uh, this is a plan that we have felt is cost-effective and also, in the end, treats health care symptoms before they gravitate to the point where you have to have high-cost inpatient care. We really used PCDC to, to understand how we could do that effectively, and then when it came to crunch time to, to go to the legislature and to get this done, we knew that PCDC stood with us as a very strong advocate. We also had confidence that PCDC has been developing the infrastructure so we could say there are community health centers ready to take on this loan. We started out with a single program, and that was a capital financing program designed to get the resources to health centers so that they could build new sites, they could expand old ones, they could renovate, they could upgrade. And this is a sector that's never had access to resources like that before. PCDC was created to understand how health centers operate and to understand their finances. So we have now a series of different loan products to provide for different needs of health centers. They're longer term, shorter term, equipment. All of the communities that we work in are communities that have suffered from disinvestment over the years. What we're looking to do is to reverse that trend. We were in a building where the windows leaked, the roof leaked. It was a completely inadequate layout and completely inadequate situation. Now we're in a place that projects the reality of the quality that we have always provided. And the effect of having a new state-of-the-art 22,000 square foot facility has really been remarkable. I had never had the experience of building something of this size and complexity. PCDC taught me how to become a leader of a project management team. PCDC is the only bank I trust. There are people that not only loan you money, but they help you to understand better how to even spend it. So then we can do what we know best, which is to really provide primary care in these kind of communities. <laughs> As we've gotten to know the primary care sector, we have a very good sense of what are the current needs and what are the emerging needs. And where our programs can be high impact, particularly around core processes. We've charted enormous growth in the number of programs that we designed and implemented. That's where we want to put our future energy. PCDC really has been our partner in most of the initiatives that we've undertaken and they're helping us on our medical home project. We put a group together with PCDC to figure out how to organize the primary care of the patients. And really the idea is both that patients can get access to what they need when they need it, and that they can do much more intensive education and self-management work with patients. More than 50% of the visits that our patients have takes place with somebody who's not a doctor or nurse practitioner. The staff started to understand what it meant to be patient-centered because they really had the feeling that whatever patients needed, we were going to try to get. If she's waiting a long time, maybe we can have her send her up for x-ray. This is all in how you operate 
operate a, a health care center effectively, and it has everything in the world to do with timely access to medical care. These are kids that are sick. Yeah. And look at that. Yeah. Two hours. Them over two sick hours kid. to sit, yes, with a sick kid. We do a variety of programs that cut wait times, of which are often two to three hours and should be less than an hour. Two months later, the average now is 50 minutes or less. Yes. We've gone on to work with a lot of health centers around how do you successfully implement electronic medical records. Now that I'm working with electronic medical record, I could never go back. It's really allowed us to do much more than we would normally be able to do. Because the consultations and the referrals are all obtained in the computer beforehand, I can spend so much more time with my patients and deal with the problems that they have instead of chasing after referrals and consultations that I shouldn't be doing. And it's really great to have the care team using the computer to get that information. Electronic medical records are expensive, they're complex, and we can structure processes in a way that increases the likelihood of success. It's an absolutely essential tool to delivering the kind of preventive care that we need. So I use it, I'll call you? Yeah. That would be good? Okay, I'll put you in there then, that's good. Prior to 9-11, I don't think any thought had been given to emergency preparedness in primary care. And we worked with the New York City Health Department to create a set of standards around emergency preparedness. Nuka Family Health Center, can see you speaking. Okay, Mom, did you place the bomb? Okay. What we've done, it helps a health center get ready to function in an emergency and to serve its patients and serve its community. It's been extraordinarily helpful. PCDC has done such a phenomenal job in preparing so many sites. We were one of the very first, and I know from the very beginning we learned so much, and when I see the recent drill that we had, of the bomb threat as opposed to when we first started. We've just come such a long way. I just think it's so important that all primary care sites should be able to reach that level and go beyond and continue to feel that they're confident and that they are ready. From the beginning, the um, call was very direct and clear. This time, they said it was a bomb threat. Health centers, if they have gone through emergency preparedness, will say, we're a very important organization in this community. All of a sudden, you snap out of it and say, oh my god, there's a code. People trust us. They look to us. We speak their languages, understand their culture. We need to be there for them in an emergency. Transforming health and enriching lives is only accomplished through partnerships. What is truly special about PCDC is that it is able to concentrate in one organization capital access, health information uh, management, emergency preparation, policy. When I think of successful primary care models, I think of the systems that are able to not only attract patients, but retain them for a lifetime. One of the things they've done is not just try to fund primary care facilities, but to work with the community, work with the healthcare professionals to provide better care. Facilities that do that have higher patient satisfaction, and I think it's because the providers of care are proud, and they feel like they're doing a good job, and that gets communicated to the patients. It's been successful enough in New York State, New York City, that there are other communities around the country that have already asked PCDC to come in and to talk and show them how we've developed this partnership with public funding sources as well as private funding sources to create the opportunity for good yes. quality primary care in neighborhoods and communities. You have our, our protein from our meat and all these fruits and vegetables that are so healthy for you. We need a health system that's built around primary care as a centerpiece. Radical change and radical improvement in healthcare is possible, and we're doing it. <laughs>